Hey guys, it's Nerd E here, and I've got a review for you today for an Eagle Griffin game Morocco. Okay, this is a mid-weight, lightish weight Euro game. It's got a lot of cubes, it's got a little meeples, it's got a lot of tiles, it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. I'm not going to get too much into how you actually play the game, but I will talk about it a little bit. The main thing is it's a grid system. You've got cubes that you've drawn from the uh, pile. You've got five colors from the row or column and five for the row or column here. So you've got five colors and then the five same colors but in a different order so it's randomly assigned where they are. So basically you've made a coordinate. So you've got like the green cube here and the purple cube here where they meet up is a green and purple you know, spot. What you're doing in this game is you're trying to get your meeples on the board to try and get majority in those spots to get points to then get more points because once you get a majority you get points but you also get to add uh, a favor ability or an additional guy to the next one over or wherever you want to point your thing to the way you get the cubes is cool you're, you're looking out onto the market and you're drawing cubes from however you place your um, the, the in the tower but you're also giving cubes to the other players when you do that. So you got to pay careful attention to how you do that. It, it's very cool. It's, it's an it's a area control game with meeples. It's an area control game that takes a lot of thought and planning and strategy. You might say, okay, I've got a green and a black cube. I got this. I'm going to put my guy here. That's going to be what I want to do. It's going to be great. And then someone pays a coin and it moves one of those around. So now it's, now it's a green and, and purple. I don't, I don't have those cubes. I can't put my guy there. Now I, I can't do what I wanted to do. What do I do now? You pay one of your coins and do the same thing. Or you're out of luck and you have to move somewhere else. It's, it's a very cool game. The strategy, the, the decision making, the, the ability to change focus on what you're doing. I, I think this game is going to be a classic. I think this game is going to be up there with Alhambra, some of the big tile lane games out there. It adds to that. It adds strategy to that that I haven't seen in some of these similar games that have come out lately. Uh, the box is great, the insert's great, the cubes, the, the everything is great. Eagle Griffin's done a good job of building the game, making the game easy to understand. Lots of examples in the rule book to understand what happens when. I mean, I picked up the rule book we were playing within 15 minutes. It's a very easy game to understand, but it's a hard game to master. Morocco is good. Morocco is beautiful. Morocco is a game that I want to play a lot more. Will it get old? Will it get tired? Yeah, I'm sure it will because really there's not a whole lot more to it than what I just explained. But getting that figured out, that's what I want to be doing. I want to figure that game out. I want to master the game. And then someone else is going to play against me and do it a completely different way and it's going to change everything that I've learned already. Will it stand the test of time? Will it be around in 10 to 15 years? It might, it might not. But right now, it's a very fun game. It's a game that I think that you should buy right now. That's Morocco from Eagle Griffin Games. Thanks, guys.